Hello everyone and welcome to my first robot structural analysis tutorial and in today's robot structural analysis tutorial I'll start things off simple with a simply supported beam with a load in the middle of the beam so you'll see the diagram somewhere in the video I guess in the bottom right so that is the diagram that we have over there so we have a 5 kilonewton load at the middle and the length of the beam is 4 meters so basically the load is 2 meters away from the left and right supports so let's get started so when we want to model a simply supported beam in robot structural analysis click on new over here and we'll be selecting the frame 2d design alternatively you can find the frame 2d design button in the new project section here if you use it frequently so I'll just click on it over here so once you've already started your robot structural analysis file we need to define the axis definition so left click on this button over here found on the top right and you'll see this structural axis pop-up window emerge and you have X and Z axes over here the X would be the vertical lines over here and the Z axis would be the horizontal lines so we can actually draw out our beam just by using the add button and position if you want you can just key in the numbers like so or alternatively you can choose to use the number of repeats method so there are three repeats here and the distance sorry two repeats and the distance is two meters each click on add so now you can see that we have the exact same results as the previous attempt but we are using the number of repetition and distance input boxes instead of manually keying in the position so this is a very useful thing to remember about robot structural analysis and for the z-axis I'll just click on add for one position only and I'll change it to ABC click on apply and close so now I will be defining the member for our beam over here so I'll click on the bars button over here and I'll just choose a RC beam 300 by 600 millimeters and I'll move it up over here a bit and draw out our beam click on close so this is our beam over here and we need to define our supports at node 1 and 3 so I've already activated the node numbers and bar numbers over here so click on supports over here on the right panel here and I'll choose a pin support for the left and a roller support on the right if you do not have a roller support available to you click on new support definition and just make sure that you have a fixed direction in the UZ direction which is the vertical direction here so just click on close and close so now let's define the load types over here so just click on this button once and in this case I'll just say that the 5 kN load is a dead load so just click on add like so click on close click on load definition click on nodal force for point loads and key in minus 5 kN over here minus 5 would mean that the load is acting downwards click on add and select the apply to box over here and I'll select node 2 and click on apply and close to view the load that we have just created for our model over here just click on load symbols and load value descriptions and you can see the load over here so proceed to the analysis drop down over here and you can click on calculations or you can click on the calculations button over here right next to undo and redo and it shouldn't take long to calculate go to results and click on diagrams for bars and I look at the shear force diagram 
and then I'll go to the parameters tab here click on label click on uh, text over here not labels and I'll choose all over here and let's say I want to you know differentiate between positive and negative shear and bending moment and I'll just choose a filled option so you can see that there's something clearly wrong over here we shouldn't be having a shear force of 11 kilonewtons over here at the support so one thing you need to check when you're analyzing a model in robust structural analysis is the load tables over here so right click anywhere and click on tables click on the loads over here and click on OK and now you'll realize that there's a self weight over here so this self weight is really affecting the shear force and bending moment diagrams so before I will delete this self weight I will show you the bending moment diagram for this result so click on apply yeah so this is not right we should be having a linear bending moment diagram and we should have a constant shear force diagram over here so now I'll just proceed back to the loads table and I'll delete this select it and delete it and click on yes go back to the view tab over here and let's recalculate this and there we go this is our correct shear force and bending moment diagrams so I'll just turn off the bending moment for now so we can see the shear force diagram okay so this is our shear force diagram it should have a constant profile over here at 2.5 kilonewtons and I can make this scale a lot uh, bigger so instead of 1 centimeter equals to 10 kilonewtons I'll just make it as 1 and click on apply so here is our shear force diagram and now I will show you the bending moment diagram over here so it should be only 5 kilonewton meters again I'll make the scale bigger so this is our bending moment diagram and that's it for today's robot structural analysis tutorial on simply supported beams I do hope that you learned something new about robot structural analysis and found it quite pleasant to use and in the coming robot structural analysis tutorials I'll be discussing other types of things such as continuous beams and frames so stay tuned and as always stay safe keep learning and goodbye